Ground order is important for a variety of reasons. Um, first of all, it's just a safe and reliable water source for drinking and irrigation. Here in California, groundwater supplies about 40% of the state's water supply in sort of average climatic conditions. But in dry years, like we're currently experiencing, or in drought conditions, it supplies about 60 to 65% of the state's water supply. It's also very important because groundwater aquifers are able to capture and store a lot of excess water in wet years. And that water we can pull out of the ground during dry years and supplement lower or reduced surface water flows. And the final reason the groundwater is really important is that it supports a lot of um, native species, it supports wetlands, um, and it supports a lot of groundwater dependent ecosystems. In many groundwater basins throughout the state now, we're seeing sort of chronic declines in groundwater levels. The depletion of the water actually leads the whole land around it to, to drop. We're seeing drying wells, saltwater intrusion or seawater intrusion in coastal aquifers, loss of jobs, increased energy costs to pump groundwater from ever increasing depths, the cost to drill new wells if wells actually do dry up, or cities who are left entirely without water. So the good news is there are a lot of solutions. In 2009, the state sort of recognized how important it was that we have better and more data in order to sort of manage groundwater better. And so they enacted a statewide groundwater elevation monitoring program. And last year, um, in the fall of 2014, California passed the first statewide regulation of groundwater. And this was a really historic step for California. There have been improvements in technology as well. We're using satellite measurements to get very accurate estimates of how land surface is, is dropping or changing over time. And we can link that to changes in actual hydraulic head or changes in groundwater elevations over time. Groundwater recharge is likely to play a really large role in sustainable management of the resource. So these are large areas where surface water particularly during wet years or years of excess, is diverted into these large recharge ponds and it's basically allowed to infiltrate into the subsurface and recharge underlying aquifers. It gives us a lot of flexibility in how we manage that resource so we can tuck it away during wet years, we can pull it out during dry years. 